Science 6, Quarter 2, Week 6, Milk Base. Let's learn about Tropical Rainforests, Coral Reefs, and Mangrove Swamps. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. For today's lesson in Science 6, we will discuss about tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. For most essential learning competencies, discuss the interactions among living things and non-living things in tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. Have you been ever to swamp or grassland or beach, a reef or mangrove? What kind of plants can you find there? What kind of animals live in there? Let us try to explore and discover the marvels of science through this module. Allow us to show you the amazing way scientists work with ideas. As you will move through this module, you will find engaging questions about the interactions among living things or biotic and non-living things or abiotic. We encourage you to find ways to answer these questions by providing varied activities. We expect that through this module, you will become more self-seeking in science and make your learning meaningful. The organisms that thrive in one place depend on their environment. They form relationships with other organisms and with non-living things in their habitat in order to survive. Together, they form ecosystem. Scientists known as ecologists study this relationship in order to know about each organism and the ecosystem as a whole. As we go through this lesson, we should be able to know what are components of an ecosystem, what are the important roles and relationship between organism and each ecosystem. Tropical Rainforests Tropical rainforests are woodlands composed mostly of all trees and extensive foliage cover. They are regions with year-round warm and abundant rainfall and occupy 6-7% to of Earth's surface. They produce a large percentage of the needed oxygen on Earth. Rainforests are also estimated to house more than half of the world's plant and animal species, most of them still undiscovered. Rainforests grow in four major layers. These are Number 1, the canopy or the top layers. Number 2, the subcanopy which is a layer of trees below the canopy. Number 3, understory which is the shady lower and number four the floor forest more than 70 percent of the organism in the forest live in the canopy and sub canopy the shady understory mostly has small palms young trees and non-woody plants the floor of the forest has a thin layer of fallen leaves and branches as well as scattered seeds and fruits that some animals gather and eat. Several varieties of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals abound in the rainforest and its rivers. However, insects are the most populous among the animals, sometimes with about 40 kinds of ants in just one tree or 1,200 kinds of beetles in just 19 individual in tree crowns. A study has shown that there are possibly over 30 million insects dwelling in the canopies of tropical rainforests. 
because of the great diversity of the life in them, rainforests are ranked as the most complex on land. Philippines used to have about 70% of its rainforest a hundred years ago. Presently, only less than 8% of the country rainforests are untouched by deforestation and urbanization. If deforestation does not stop, there might be no more rainforest in the Philippines after 15 years. Next is the coral reefs. Coral reefs are also one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems on Earth and are called the rainforests of the sea. They are mostly found in shallow tropical seas. Coral reefs are made up of limestones, which is secreted by corals and deposited in a period of thousands to millions of years. They can be of three types. These are fringing reefs, barrier reefs, and atolls. Fringing reefs are underwater stands of living coral animals that grow fairly close to the shore. Barrier reefs occur farther offshore and are separated from the shoreline by channels called lagoons. Atolls are roughly circular reef systems that surround a deep or large lagoon. Coral reefs are formed when coral polyps from their limestone skeleton by absorbing calcium from seawater. Reefs are not only made of hard and soft coral, but also sponge, crustaceans, jellyfishes, sea anemones, mollusks, sea turtles, reef sharks, dolphins, various fishes, and much more. They provide homes for marine animals, which makes marine food change active and continuous. Because of its great diversity, competition may arise among the organisms in the coral reefs as they compete over food and space. Since they are dependent and interrelated to each other, Variation in one species can severely affect other species. Other than that, calamities like storms, volcanic eruption, and hurricanes as well as human activities may greatly affect the type of organisms and their relationships within the reefs. And lastly, mangrove swamps. Mangroves are trees that grow along the coast. They are usually found in shallow waters along the mouths of bays, lagoons, and river. Mangroves can tolerate salty water because their roots can filter out the salts before absorbing water into the plant. They also have the ability to store salts in their bark or old leaves and shed them periodically to get rid of the salts. Mangrove roots form breeding grounds or nurseries for many fishes and marine organisms. They intertwine roots, protect the larvae and young animals from predators, and act as home to rich communities of marine, invertebrates, and algae. They also provide shelter to seasonal visitors like egrets and migratory birds. These birds also receive nourishment by eating shrimps, crabs, and other mollusks around the mangroves. Mangroves also stabilize the shoreline. They have stilt-like roots that catch particles of silt, dirt, and sand that build up shorelines. They also remove large quantities of inorganic nutrients and sediments to maintain quality of coastal waters. And now, let us do learning task 1. Answer the following questions. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. What is an ecosystem? What are examples of diverse ecosystem? Very good! The word ecosystem means ecological systems. Ecology is the study of ecosystems. 
An ecosystem includes all the living things like plants, animals, and organisms in a given area. Interacting with each other and with their non-living environments like weather, earth, sun, soil, climate, atmosphere. Number 2. What is a rainforest? Why is rainforest known as the lungs of the earth? Rainforests are woodlands composed mostly of old trees and extensive foliage cover. Tropical rainforests are often called the lungs of the planet because they generally draw in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. But the amount of carbon dioxide they absorb or produce varies hugely with year-to-year -year variations in the climate. Number 3. What are the major parts of the rainforest? Describe each. Rainforests grow in four major layers. Number 1, the canopy or the top layers. Number 2, the subcanopy, which is a layer of trees below the canopy. Number 3, the understory, which is the shady lower. And number 4, the floor forest. Number 4, what are coral reefs? Where are they found? Why are they important to marine lives? Coral reefs are also one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems on Earth and are called the rainforest of the sea. They are mostly found in shallow tropical seas. Coral reefs are made up of limestones which is secreted by corals and deposited in period of thousands to millions of years. They provide homes for marine animals, which makes marine food change active and continuous. And for number 5, what are the different types of coral reefs? Describe each. They can be of three types, fringing reefs, barrier reefs, and atolls. Fringing reefs are underwater stands of living corals, animals that grow fairly close to the shore. Barrier reefs occur farther offshore and are separated from the shoreline by channels called lagoons. Atolls are roughly circular reef systems that surround a deep or large lagoon. For learning task 2, fill in the blanks. Write your answer on a separate sheet. Choose the correct answer inside the box. Breeding ground, aquatic, roots of the sea, coastal, marine. Let's answer. If there are no mangrove forests, then the sea will have no meaning. It is having a tree with no roots, for the mangroves are the... What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is... Roots of the sea. Mangrove swamp are found along the blank area. What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is coastal area they are important to blank life what is the correct answer very good the correct answer is aquatic they are severe as blank ground for fishes and marine organism what is the answer very good the answer is breeding ground they protect the blank from erosion and effects of storms. What is the answer? Very good! The answer is... Marine. For learning test 3, complete the chart. Copy this in your answer sheet. In the first column are the different rainforest layer. In the second column, write their description. Number 1. Canopy. The description for canopy is the top layers. Number 2, subcanopy. The description for subcanopy is is a layer of trees below the canopy. Number 3, understory. The description is which is the shady lower. Number 4, floor of the forest. The description is a thin layer of fallen leaves and branches. Next, in the first column are the different types of coral reefs and write their description. Number 1, fringing reefs. The description is 
are underwater stands of living coral animals that grow fairly close to the shore. Number 2. Barriers Reefs The description is occur farther offshore and are separated from the shoreline by channels called lagoons. Number 3. Atolls The description is are roughly circular reef systems that surround a deep or large lagoon. And number 4. Mangrove swamps The description is are trees that grow along the coast. They are usually found in shallow waters along the mouths of bays, lagoons, and river. And for our last activity, answer the following questions in your answer sheet. Number 1. What are the living biotic and non-living things abiotic in tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and in the mangrove swamps? Here is my example answer. For tropical rainforests, Tropical rainforests have a diverse biotic population. Animals like parrots, sloths, and monkeys may live in the rainforest. Other biotic factors like insects, plants, and fruit are eaten by animals. Abiotic factors or non-living things in a tropical rainforest include temperature, humidity, soil composition, air, and many others. For coral reefs, a biotic factor in a coral reef ecosystem could be the coral itself, as well as other living organisms such as fish, algae, and various invertebrates. And the examples of non-living things or abiotic in a coral reef include rocks, sand, shells, sunken ships, and artificial structures. And for mangrove swamps, Biotic factors include the mangrove trees, their roots, the species present, and other living organisms. Abiotic factors include water, soil, air, and sunlight. Each element is essential to the equilibrium of the ecosystem. And for number two, explain the interactions among living things in tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and mangrove. My example answer is... Living things in tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and mangroves interact and related. The symbiotic link between coral reef and mangrove ecosystems enhances tropical coastal habitats. Coastal mangrove forests protect shorelines, remove pollutants, enhance water quality, and provide nursery habitat for fisheries. So this information is from Google Reference. Remember, tropical rainforests are woodlands composed mostly of all trees and extensive foliage cover. They are regions with year-round warm and abundant rainfall and occupy 6 to 7 percent of Earth's surface. Coral reefs are also one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems on Earth and are called the rainforests of the sea. They are mostly found in shallow tropical seas. Mangroves are trees that grow along the coast. They are usually found in shallow waters along the mouths of bays, lagoons, and rivers. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!